make them bounce. Non-acceptance of North Korea as a nuclear power is not just uh, our position and the U.S. position. It's the position of the whole global community, as stated several times in the U.N. Security Council resolutions. Now, they have declared, after the latest missile launch, uh, the completion of their program. Uh, but, as I said, there is no concrete evidence that they have mastered the uh, the te technology uh, that is required to be able to uh, put a nuclear a nuclear device on a long range nuclear uh, nuclear missile they they haven't demonstrated their reentry capability they haven't demonstrated the remote targeting or the miniaturization that is required to do this so the, the political the declaration in their statement is one thing do they really, have they really mastered the technology is another thing. Mm -hmm. And I think, of course, this all requires further careful analysis, and we do this in close consultations uh, among our experts here, but also U.S. experts. Uh, but what the statement exactly means and what is it, what does it intend to achieve domestically, uh, internationally, uh, is still very much uh, uh, something that requires further analysis. Again, I, I, I just wonder whether everybody's burying their head in the sand, a little bit like ostriches. You know, people said the same thing about Iran, that they wouldn't be able to move forward with their program, you know, under these unprecedented sanctions. But then, of course, they developed thousands of centrifuges. Now mm. there's a deal with Iran. North Korea, everybody said, oh, well, they mm. won't be able to launch a long missile. They won't be able to put a warhead on it. They won't be able to reenter, etc. But you will admit that they're making gallivanting progress. Yes, they have, and, 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 a, and a pace that's uh, far faster than, than uh, many of us have expected. But they have not reached the final, final completion stage yet. I think that would be the, the v shared view of all the, the technical expertise around this program. So we do, and the whole point of the global unity around the sanctions, around the Security Council sanctions is precisely that the global community has to put the pressure and implement the sanctions in a concerted way so that it does make a difference for the North Korean regime, that it does force a change of course from the North Korean regime.